is Cal with Avian Works coming to you with an intro to DirectX 9 graphics. Now my goal today is to help you create a basic DirectX 9 application. Um, so basically we're just going to try and get uh, a rotating triangle on the screen. It's multicolored. It's going to be nice. And we're going to do all this from scratch. Now here's, an in or here's a table of contents um, where you can just click on any of these and it'll actually take you, jump you over to whichever it is uh, you know, if you maybe you started and you need to continue, you can easily jump to wherever um, you want to. And all, this is also what we will be covering um, throughout the set of videos. Now, what we're going to assume is that you already have a knowledge with your current IDE. So, if you don't ha um, know your IDE, sorry, I really can't help you there just yet. If you do have any questions with actually any of these things um, on the what we can assume. Uh, message me and I can try and help you out. And uh, so, continuing on, uh, we assume that you are familiar with the basics of C++ programming. So, you know you know what, vari what variables are, you know data sizes, uh, if checks, for loops, you know, while loops, everything. Basically, all the basics of it. Sure, you don't need to know the advanced, advanced stuff, but we also want you to have an understanding of how pointers work. At least just a little understanding, you know, you know what they're doing. And then the last thing, we assume that you want to learn DirectX 9. So um, you, well what you might need, I don't know if you already have it or not, but you might need DirectX 9 June 2010 SDK, which is provided down in the link below. Um, we also, you also might need an IDE to actually create your program with. Um, that is not provided with me, you would actually need to go and figure out um, how to retrieve your own IDE. Um, and then the last thing you might need is FX Composer, Notepad, Notepad++, whatever it is that you really want to, because you can create a shader any way you want. It just needs to be a .fx file, as later explained in the shader section. Um, and once again, these are in the link below. For FX Composer, I do believe you do need to sign up for it um, with NVIDIA, but you should be good. And so, with all that being said, um, I'm going to continue on to my next part of the video, initialization.